despite the adoption, parents, children, and brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, first off, Merry Christmas. What is the real meaning of Christmas? The average person in today's society would say Christmas is a time of presents and being with family. People are fully engaged with decorating, shopping, and ensuring that they get the best deals. But is this what Christmas is about? No. The message of Christmas is lost today, mainly because of the failure to see the light. We are here celebrating the joy of our Savior because this is the day our Lord came into the world to fulfill a prophecy to save all mankind from sin. With the news of Christ's birth came the three kings from the east. As we see in Matthew chapter 2, verse 2, they saw a star in the east and came to worship him. The star went before the king, the three kings, and led them to baby Jesus. They presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The star seen by the kings is a representation of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the light of the world. In John 8.12, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. The three kings followed the star, or light, and it truly led them to the light of life. Jesus is the light of life. And as it is stated in John chapter 1, verse 4, he is the light of all mankind. Upon finding baby Jesus, their eyes were opened, and they rejoiced, and now before the true king. This is what we need to do. Christmas is about finding that star which leads us to the light of life. As seen in John, John chapter 12, verse 36, let us believe in the light so that we may become the children of the light. Just like the kings, we need to embrace ourselves with the light and become and welcome this light into our hearts. But it's not enough for us to solely keep hold of this light. Rather, let us admit this light to all those around us. This Christmas, or Christmas light, is God's ultimate gift to the world, and it's meant to be shared. Darkness can only be defeated by light. Just as a small flickering flame can help you see even in the darkest room, this light of life has even greater power to illuminate, to console the most broken hearts, to touch and comfort one another's lives, and most of all, lead us to eternal salvation. I came across a prayer by St. Francis of Assisi, which I thought is relevant to the Christmas light. O oh Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive it is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. So this Christmas season, let us be reminded of this light of life. Let's work together to welcome this light into our hearts, not just today, but always. Let's keep the light of Christ the focus of our Christmas and our daily lives. For this light is the ultimate gift from God, a gift of faith love, hope, peace, a gift of the light of eternal life. Thank you and Merry Christmas and have a blessed Happy New Year.